In the beginning, there was Pong. Nearly 50 years later, a lot has changed. That old school Atari classic has been left in the dust by first person shooters, virtual reality headsets, and state of the art consoles that allow you to compete instantly against hundreds of other gamers throughout the world. Gaming is no longer a hobby. It's an industry that has allowed people to pursue careers not only as designers and developers, but as players. The game industry has grown dramatically. Now it encompasses more than film, television, and music combined. It's a $140 billion a year industry. Esports is a component of that, and it is one of the fastest growing segments within video games, but also things like virtual reality and augmented reality, and the fidelity of those games becomes better and better. We're going to see more and more requirement for the type of infrastructure that AMPT provides, and much more uh, forms of entertainment available to the public to be able to access. Once played in basements across the world, the popularity of video games has grown to such heights that competitive gaming, otherwise known as esports, is leading to the construction of its own arenas. We had, for example, uh, the World Championships uh, for Dota 2 here in Vancouver, and that was hosted at the same arena where the Canucks play. Over 50,000 attendees, the tournament itself was sold out for three days. Selling out a full-size arena for three days is you know, a pretty good indication as to how big esports is becoming in North America. With the industry's incredible growth comes concrete challenges for video game developers and designers. Chief among those is the fact that more gaming is being streamed than ever before. What does that mean for manufacturers of video games? Today, New Frontiers is in Vancouver, Canada, at the headquarters of Amped Ventures to find out. Amped has a singular mission, uh, which is to really seek out and eradicate lag and latency uh, wherever we find it. Um, and there's two ways that we do that. The first one is by putting the servers into the urban environments in which, uh, well, for the video games industry, gamers are sitting. So rather than connecting to servers that are hundreds of miles away, uh, a gamer could be sitting, say, here in Vancouver and connect to our data center a couple of miles away. And then the second thing is to really look at the architecture within the data center uh, and implement some high-performance computing systems that in and of themselves also uh, reduce lag and latency as well. Not only is AMPT focusing on infrastructure, it is actively engaged in developing the next generation of talent for the video game industry through a partnership with a Canadian digital technology supercluster to build a creative technology community. The digital technology supercluster is a brand new initiative that was started in 2018. It is a collection of companies from large to small startups, small mid-sized companies that have come together to develop and co-create new technology projects and new technology products in the digital realm. And our ambition is to build world-leading technologies that can really set Canada apart from the rest of uh, you know, the global competitors in the areas of precision health, in the areas of building common data sets, and in the areas of digital twins, which is really using augmented and virtual reality for new simulations. And I think what AMPT provides is a platform and a capability that understands how you can render and, and deliver the kind of experiences that are demanded, especially as we move into a digital framework of simulating more on augmented and virtual realities. With AMPT, you know, we found a solution at Bardell that was ideal for us, but they really catered to those needs to come up with that solution. For us, we need render power to really create this high-end uh, quality in our work. These digital files, this data that goes into animated series and features, the kind of stuff that Bardell is making, uh, requires a lot of render power, sometimes at very high demand times. And, you know, the fact that they were located uh, one block from our studio also helped our, our you know, this having this data center here uh, and opening this data center was a big plus. So uh, that's been the big, big thing for us. The time, talents and passion that go into creating awe-inspiring video games needs to be matched by the infrastructure to support those games and the homes, arcades and arenas where they are being played. In both North America and Europe, that infrastructure is woefully lacking. This is where companies like Amped, with their expertise and understanding of the marketplace, can play a major role in overcoming that obstacle. 
When it comes to video games in particular, um, you know, over the last few years, the trend has really been towards multiplayer uh, eSport type video games. Uh, obviously, you know, the action takes place very quickly. You know, people will be running around in a particular, uh, you know, in virtual world, uh, playing within these environments. So obviously, you know, if, you, if you're sitting in a city, you know, on the east coast of the United States, trying to play with somebody uh, who might be sitting, say, in Vancouver, uh, challenges around latency and lag, uh, you know, are pretty noticeable in those kinds of environments. And so I think as gamers expect more real-time, very twitchy experiences, uh, not only on their televisions, but as we move into things like virtual reality and uh, mixed reality, those kinds of multiplayer experiences are starting to come out you know, from the TV screen into a whole range of different types of, of uh, through different channels. And so uh, as a company, we want to solve those issues of lag and latency, which are noticeable for gamers. One of the tenets of the fourth industrial revolution is that technological progress will present opportunities to help everyone in society. While its efforts are gaming focused, Amped understands the ripple effect its work will have beyond video game designers, developers, and players. So one thing to be aware of is that the type of technology that we build has an impact way beyond gaming and, and digital media. Um, when it comes to artificial intelligence, when it comes to uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, if you've seen the movie Ready Player One, for example, uh, it gives this picture of what, you know, how humans can inter interact in the future in a virtual world. That goes way beyond gaming and that's that and, and things like, you know, AI, things like big data research, all of that sort of stuff requires this high performance computing at the edge.